is up guys this is me box arrow and I just really hope that this channel grows and I'm just gonna do this simple video and yeah so this is just gonna be a video on how to dominate Call of Duty Black Ops 3 in each game or any game as you play it whatever game you play right now I'm doing hardcore my specialist is gonna be not battery be firebreaker reason why firebreaker is good for close close proximity with the um with purifier so you could empty out the whole room very easily but i had to be very careful with using it because i'm sure you pretty much know why you're watching this and what the specialists do so nothing really much to say here but that's about it now let's get into this game. Okay, now this is the class of twist I'm using. There's a Pharaoh, fast stock, fast mags, and rapid fire. And for perks, I'm using ghost. Um, what is it doing? I think it's hardwire and cold blooded with blast suppressor. Right here, I shot. Then I keep on moving, but I go a different way after I shot. Now, what you do, you take things slow. You have to watch each area that they could enter in and where they would go through. I don't shoot so I'm ready to shoot until I see everyone else. Because when I shoot, I will show my location and where I am. But this is hardcore so it's not really that often that they'll be able to figure out where you are. Another thing, watch your back because like I almost got I almost got killed there. And I know I got killed back there. And don't push up so much because then you just get killed. And you could probably lose your streak that you have. So I usually just stay in the middle. And just watch the corners. And yeah, my teammate killed me there. Anyways, when you're in tight situations, you have to take things a little bit slower. You have to hold your ground a little bit. Like I'm holding down this little area right here. Cause I don't know if any more is gonna spawn from that side. So I just stand there to wait. I give it like about maybe three seconds. And then I move on. And then I take a peek at the door to make sure if I see someone that was there, I move out of the way. And I try to go for the flank. I'm sure many of you would probably do the same thing, but it's better not to go alone. So you come over here to check their spawn, just to make sure if anyone else spawned. And if someone did spawn, you kill them and just keep on moving. Don't stop. Now if you're in a very active area, you're going to have to slow down on a few things. Take things slow and don't sit that much because then you'll just get shot in the back or hit in the back or knifed, either one of those. You just gotta take things slow, but not too slow. Just don't, don't run up that fast. And another thing is it's about ammo. Because sometimes you might have scavenger, you would run over people to get ammo or you just don't have any ammo at all. So what I do is I just go back and retrace my steps from enemies that I killed. And I didn't find no one, so the streaks that I'm using is Spy Plane, Care Package, and Hellstorm. Now Spy Plane is good just to find the enemy, but not just that, but also to find a weapon off of someone. 
So when they get closer to me, I give them a punch. When they least expect me to be there. Okay, now for the care package, I'm sure you know what to do with the care package. I don't know if you go back to the spawn or you just place it down anywhere. But I usually just go back to the spawn. It's safer and it's better. And my teammate's gonna grab that. So I will basically be doing more videos like this to help out. And for the best class setups that I usually use for hardcore and core game modes. So the Sparrow is good for the hardcore game modes. I get killed here because I pushed up a little bit too much into their spawn. Another thing is they have to have a good eye without the map. Or throughout the map. Like, you might see them there, but they might not be there at all. They could just be waiting just to shoot you. See, I see that guy way, way over there. And I expect to meet him on the other side. But I didn't. So I keep on moving, but if I turn around, he might still be there. Now, I am 23. I think that's 23, or is it 28? I didn't know. I didn't really see what the school, oh, what, how many kills I got. But this is one of the ways to dominate a game. Even for the lowest rank you are, you'll still be able to dominate a game. If you take these simple little tips. And you use it with your how you play. And it'll be really easy for you. If you take some of these little tips. Another thing is just to pre-aim. I'm sure you might do that too. And if I see someone over there, I just go in through here, make sure that no one's going to come behind me, and I kill them from over here. And take things slow through their spawn, you don't ever know. Don't know who would spawn and what they would have on you. They could have a rocket launcher, or they could just shoot you with a sniper rifle from afar. You have to make sure that your bullets count. Each each bullet counts for each shot. If you're in a corner and you don't know what to do, you can always pre-shoot. So when you move out, you could keep them away from you so they don't have to run into your bullets. Or they could be going for the flank and you have to watch your back all the time. So it's better not to go alone through an area. So this is when the purifier comes in. And I didn't see this guy that was coming out of this building. Yeah, I'm doing 29 and 8. Which is pretty good. I'm moving in, making my way around, I get shot. And this ends the game, 29 and 10. So, if you would like to see more of these type of videos, I would, I would really like to have a like or a subscriber. It's like I never had a subscriber or a like. And this is actually my first video for YouTube. The more subscribers I get, the more videos I would probably post. The more likes I get, the more I would be more talkative. But right now, this is just my first video. 
I'm just trying to get used to it. But for the controller wise, I would use a scuff because I'm using a scuff in this gameplay. But back then I never had a scuff, so I just had switched controls on the con on the controller. But the scuff is a little bit better. It gives you a little bit more of an advantage than switching to the controls. Like stick move, where you press on the thumbstick to jump instead of knifing, which if the knifing is going to be the X. But I'd rather have the scuff instead of the control flip. So, very good win loss ratio. So, this will basically end the video right here. So, I would like to have a subscriber and a like. Because you know, one like equals one lemon in life. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you found this very helpful for you, Please subscribe and be ready for more videos and stick around for the ending okay because the ending has good gameplay too so thanks for watching and I am out
inbound. Hostile HCXD spotted. 